Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to your PFC Training Minute. I got a question from a follower regarding south paws and the placement of the visible white light on the carbine, where exactly it goes. This information is for everybody. It's for uh, righties, lefties, etc., etc. So a few things here that you have to consider. Number one, what's the real estate that you have? If you got a teeny tiny little short barrel thing, you might not have a ton of real estate available on the front of this thing. Next is what's the switching modality you have? Are you utilizing the actual uh, tail cap switch that's mounted on the light? Are you running some sort of a pressure pad or a tape switch or anything along those lines? Next is how is that light gonna behave with whatever the muzzle device is that you have on the end of the gun? And are you more worried about bumping the light or are you more worried about having a grip that's consistent with sort of a daylight uh, methodology? So for myself, being a lefty on my carbine, I've got the light mounted as I look down the bore, top of the gun being 12 o'clock. It's mounted up at about the 1030 position. That allows me from my traditional daylight grip with a thumb that's slightly over the top to very, very consistently come up, find the tail cap and activate that. So I don't suffer when I'm utilizing my dominant hand grip. I'm less worried about bumping the switch because I can back it off with a rotary style tail cap. In the event that I'm running the gun bilateral, let's say that I've, uh, safe still let's say that i've got the gun in a bilateral grip along those lines my left thumb which is now in the support pan roll is coming over and finding the one or the two o'clock position and there's no tail cap there so i may have to compromise that grip a teeny tiny little bit for support handed activation but it's not enough that i'm gonna cry and not and complain about it in that regard um, also be conscious of if you have it mounted too far back i've seen folks wind up cutting their hand because the tail cap winds up making contact with a portion of their hand, even in daylight conditions. And every single time that thing recoils and comes back, it's smashing into their knuckle. And at the end of the day, they can't figure out why they've got a, uh, a bloody grip. Short version being this, there are so many different options that exist on top of the gun as far as different slots and locations that you can mount it. I've got this Bobro engineering uh, sort of tilting mount that allows me to get that light insanely close to the laser that's on top of the gun right there. Super, super close. You could barely slide a sheet of paper inside of it as opposed to hanging way off. Another thing to be conscious of is, is the further that the light hangs off the side, in the event that I'm working around the side of a barricade, I may wind up getting a considerable amount of splash back when I do activate it. So different strokes for different folks. I recommend you try as many of them as you possibly can. Find out one that works for you across the broadest variety of possible conditions that you could face as opposed to a one-dimensional fix. Be safe.